What's going on guys, JSGC Football here and we are here for another episode of our Championship Predictions. Before I do crack on with this video, do make sure like always if you are enjoying the content. Please do leave a thumbs up, it lets me know that you are digging the vids. Also don't forget as well to subscribe, it is free to subscribe. Also you can go and find our social media links there in the description if you want to go and check out our social media, that would be fantastic also. So... We're going to digest from last weekend. Uh, we had plenty of championship action. You had Preston North End taking on Queen's Park Rangers. I put 2-0 Preston North End. I thought my brother's team mixed Preston North End. I thought they'd get back to winning ways. They're back at Deepdale. They've got QPR, uh, who uh, for the most part of the season haven't been fantastic at all. Preston don't turn up. Queen's Park Rangers do play a really good game. Getting some momentum now, Queen's Park Rangers, and picking up a solid away victory, 2-0. Uh, and uh, they take the three points, and Preston uh, left feeling what's to be. And I have uh, just been having a little uh, look on social media from the Preston North End fans and uh, started to see a few questions getting asked of Ryan Lowe. I'm not too sure if questions should be asked just yet. Uh, as Preston are oh, right near the playoffs still. You know, you win one or two games, you turn your form around, and all of a sudden you're back. Uh, exactly where you want to be but uh, you know carry on losing carry on picking up disappointing defeats and all of a sudden you start to slip down the table and the championship very tight from them playoff spots running right down towards uh, well 21st place uh, so you start going from uh, challenging the top four to all of a sudden going from fifth slipping right down and you end up in 18th 19th place then I'd probably say that that is the right time for the manager to leave but we'll see if it does get to that first and foremost in my opinion, of course. Uh, now, moving on to uh, the Saturday games. You had West Bromwich Albion taking on Leicester City. I had that down as a one old draw. Leicester ended up picking up a fantastic victory uh, with that uh, counter-attack goal right at the very end. Uh, those limbs were seamed in that away end from Leicester. So, JSGC, two out of two. Incorrect. Continuing a theme here. However, we do get a couple of them uh, correct. Uh, surprisingly, I threw a nil-nil out there. Birmingham Rotherham, and turns out I was completely on the money with that one. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to predict many nil-nils this season, but that's one. Uh, Hull City Watford had that down as a Hull win. Watford picked up a great three points, winning 2-1 uh, at Hull City there. Uh, Ipswich Town took on Coventry City. I had that down as a 3-1 win for Ipswich. Turned out uh, it was 2-1 instead, and another solid three points there for Ipswich. Ipswich who continue some great home form and continue their uh, great start to the season. Leeds United took on Middlesbrough. Very entertaining game winning by uh, three goals to two. I had it down as a 2-0 Leeds win. So uh, I got the right result just didn't get the correct score. Uh, Millwall Sunderland I had down as a Sunderland victory by two goals to one. It finished one all. Uh, Plymouth Stoke City again on the money there. Another correct score. I had 2-1 to Plymouth. Very difficult place for teams to travel to. So Plymouth will be relying on that home form to push them right up the table and they seem to be doing uh, fairly decently uh, at home park so picking up another win there uh, against Stoke City Sheffield Wednesday against Blackburn had that down as a 2-0 uh, victory for Blackburn thought they'd start just to uh, push on with their season no uh, Sheffield Wednesday picking up a great victory by three goals to one and it is nice to see some of the teams down at the bottom that have been struggling as of late just starting to uh, turn their form around over the last uh, two or three games which is uh, really good to see in Sheffield Wednesday it's so important for them for Rotherham for Queen's Park Rangers for Huddersfield as well that they start to, to turn their season around and start pulling everybody else back into that relegation battle um, now Southampton took on Cardiff City had a little curveball went with a one all uh, as I was impressed with Cardiff City uh, the round before and Southampton have had a couple of inconsistent results and a couple of their fans were commenting on my last video saying that they weren't happy with the comments that I'd said about Southampton all I was getting at was Southampton are a brilliant team. They've got some fantastic players. They've picked up some great results. Someone pointed out correctly that the top of the form table, but there are the odd game here and there, in particular away from home, where I'd be expecting Southampton to turn up, show the quality and win them games. And they've been the games that they've dropped points against. It's been against teams who haven't had great form or teams that are down at the bottom where they have really struggled and that was the point I was trying to get across that I think got lost in translation and that's why I went for the one all draw uh, as a little curveball because it's I don't just want to go with home wins and the top four always win all of their games and stuff it's, it's you know predictions I like them to be a little bit different 
put out them curveballs. That was just one of them. Uh, Swansea City, I had a 1-0 uh, victory for them against Huddersfield, digging and battling for the lives, picking up a brilliant point in South Wales, uh, one all. JSGC wrong again onto the Sunday game Bristol City took on Norwich City great win for Norwich had that down as a Bristol win by two goals to one Norwich City picking up a fantastic victory there so uh, ended up getting eight wrong in total two correct scores two correct results as well two correct scores there pulls the score up and I, I graded myself a three out of ten and hoping for further improvement this week we seem to be getting better week on week which is good news so moving on to this week's games on Friday night you've got Coventry City taking on Birmingham City uh, I think that's going to be a very feisty game looking forward to that uh, the game is live on Sky Sports if you wanted to watch it uh, I think I'm going to go with a Coventry City narrow victory Birmingham City just haven't looked very good they can't raise themselves here under the lights uh, in Coventry away from home when are they going to be able to motivate themselves? Uh, but uh, I think they'll try and keep it close. I think Coventry will have too much about them. I think Coventry pick up them three points. Now, moving on to Saturday, you've got a couple of early kickoffs. Blackburn Rovers taking on Leeds at Ewood Park. I'm going for Leeds to continue their good form and win again. I'm going for a 2 1 victory for them. And the game that's on Sky Sports, you've got Sunderland taking on West Bromwich Albion. Again, should be a really entertaining game. I'm going for both teams to score. And I'm going to go with a Sunderland victory for that one. A home win there by two goals to one. Now, moving on to the 3 p.m. games, you've got Cardiff City taking on Millwall. Couldn't really separate these two teams. So I went with a stay safe, both teams to score. One all draw. Huddersfield, they're at home taking on Bristol City. As I said, last couple of games, I've been very impressed with Huddersfield. I'm going for them to win this game. I'm going for a 2-1 victory for them um, against Bristol City. Leicester City against Plymouth. Uh, if it was at home park, I think this would be a very difficult game for Leicester. I think Leicester are going to win this game. I think Leicester are going to win it comfortably, though, uh, as it is uh, at home. So I'm going for a 3-0 victory for them at the King Power Stadium. Middlesbrough taking on Ipswich. What an entertaining game that's going to be as well going for both teams to score again couldn't really separate them I don't know which way this is going to go Middlesbrough could win Ipswich could win so I went with a two-all draw uh, now Norwich City taking on Preston North End we will be having a match vlog uh, for our little mini series that we ran we went to Ipswich Town away rated our experience there we're going to be at Carrow Road we're going to rate our experience there and compare which team we prefer to visit when it comes to East Anglia so really looking forward to that I do, however, think Pre uh, Preston are going to really struggle in this game. And I'm going for a 3-0 victory for Norwich City, who just over the last game or two just seem to be sorting themselves out. So I'm going for them to continue that and Preston continuing their poor run of form and a comfortable 3-0 win for Norwich. Pessimistic. Interesting to see Mick Sid's thoughts on that uh, in our vlog that will be up hopefully uh, in a couple of days' time. Now, Queen's Park Rangers, they're taking on Hull City. I don't know what to make of the game, so I went with an away win and I've gone for a 2-1 win for, uh, for Hull City in that game against Queen's Park Rangers, because why not? Uh, Rotherham taking on Swansea. These are games where Rotherham, I feel, need to be getting three points, and I've given them three points, gone with a solid 1-0 win at home against Swansea City. Stoke City taking on Sheffield Wednesday. I don't know what to make of Stoke City. I put 2-0 Stoke. Wouldn't surprise me Sheffield Wednesday won 2-0 in that game, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, so I'm sticking with the home victory, 2-0 Stoke. And in the final game, Watford taking on Southampton. Very difficult one to predict. Watford could be a bit of a funny team. Um, I'm going with a 2 all draw. Again, I wouldn't be surprised to see Southampton continue that good form and win the game. Equally, I wouldn't be surprised Watford being the home team turning up and uh, managing to win that game as well. We'll have to wait and see. There's a lot of games here that could go either way that are very difficult to predict. That I think I've sat on the fence and gone with a draw uh, rather than predicting the win. I don't know which way it's going to go. It's all fun and games when it comes to predictions. So there we go. There my thoughts for this weekend's games in the championship. Do let me know your prediction thoughts in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. It is free to subscribe. We've got plenty more football content to come for you guys to enjoy. Also, don't forget as well, social media links. They're in the description if you want to go and check out our social media. And I'll see you all again real soon for the next football video. So I've been JSGC Football. Thank you everyone for watching. I do hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.